how do you know if your place of worship is a safe place for your LGBTQ plus family and friends? First of all, you need to know the difference between affirming and non-affirming. Affirming churches will celebrate same-sex weddings, allow same-sex weddings, and allow uh, for the spiritual gifts of the gay community to be celebrated or so they can serve where they feel so called. A non-affirming church will not recognize same-sex marriage as holy, won't allow same-sex weddings, and certainly wouldn't allow our transgender friends to work in the nursery if they feel so called. Now, the reason why this is so important is because children that are raised in the church who are gay are devastated when they come out and they're no longer allowed to participate or maybe they're shamed in front of the congregation. It's devastating. Or even worse, if they come out and they fall in love and they don't understand why they can't get married in their home church or why their pastor won't marry them. It's devastating, it's harmful. And the good news is that there are affirming churches and you can Google affirming churches in your area and go and visit them and see if you see same-sex couples there being able to hold hands and and just be authentic in their worship and you'll know it when you see it so uh, thank you for being a good and faithful ally if you're a member of the community i hope that you do have a place that you can worship at ease and authentically and um, just know that we at Free Mom Hugs, we're celebrating you and we see you as a spiritual, filled, beautiful being. And here's a hug. If you have questions, you can go to freemomhugs.org. You can find your state chapter there. You can find resources. My name is Sarah. I'm the founder of Free Mom Hugs and I'm happy to help. If you have any questions, I'm uh, here for you. Bye.